In our usual mode of perception, things often appear to happen at a distance. So right now, if you look down, your body is in front of you and it appears quite close. And if you look off into the distance, things appear far away. If you look at different objects, your brain is telling you that these things are far away. It's correctly picking out this information that's useful for your behavior. But if instead of just letting that information appear to us in the way it usually does, if instead we interrogate this feeling of distance, we can notice that the way our minds are usually structured is somewhat illusory. So this time, if you look down at your body, and don't look at anything in particular, just cast your attention wide, and just notice it as a field of visual input, just changing light intensity and color and shape. just relaxing the way we usually are when our attention is captivated by objects and darts around between them. But instead we just notice this as a flat visual image because that's what it is on the retina. That's what it is in the brain before this trick of depth appears at the level of our minds. Now look off into the distance, and this time not at objects, but casting your attention wide, and see if anything changes. Is the visual input really distant? In your experience of it? Or is it right here? In your mind? As close as close can be. Now we're not questioning whether objects exist in the distance. We're not questioning distance in that sense. We're just looking at the nature of our own mind and trying to see that it's actually far simpler more simple than we tend to realize. And if you cast your attention wide all around with your eyes open, you may have the experience of noticing that your mind doesn't consist of a self on the inside and a world on the outside. But instead, there's just mind. There's just consciousness everywhere. Now, when we cast our attention wide, we're not straining. We're not trying hard to do this.
we just gently take in whatever is in front of us. Your mind knows what it knows. You don't have to use your attention to reach for anything extra. If you do less, you can find that you vanish experientially. You can find that you're not there in the middle of this field of consciousness. And everything that you can see is fully in that field of consciousness. It's intimately close with it. It's not far away. The mind feels flat before the illusion of distance is created. With your eyes closed, nothing changes. The contents change. But it's all still just this space of awareness that's empty of any self in the middle of it. Pure, pristine wakefulness. That is the character of consciousness. Before we get confused by the tricks our brains play on us in service of survival. Now, if you still feel like you're on the inside and the world is on the outside, and the world consists of objects, just gently relax. And with a sense of ease, Just cast your attention wide. And with sound, you can notice that distance is a construct of your brain here as well. It's an illusion that plays out in this single unified field of consciousness. So if you pay attention to the sounds around you, do they sound like sound objects that are far away, sounds you can put a label on, or are they right here? In this wakefulness. So 
for right now. I can hear the sound of rain on the window. And at first it sounds far away. But if I pay attention, each droplet lands not somewhere far away in some objective reality that I can see clearly. But each droplet lands in awareness and reveals it. Now if you can hear the sound of the rain through whatever speaker you're listening to this on you know that that sound isn't coming from a real object in your vicinity but you have this illusion of distance For sound waves are physically intimately close to you, they're inside your ear canals, moving parts of you, your eardrums. The vibrations in the air are not far away. And if with your hands you touch something, maybe you place them on your legs, now is that far away? Or is it right here? In awareness. Are you in your head, paying attention downwards to your legs and your hands? Is that really what's happening, experientially? Or is there a single field of consciousness with sight and sound and touch and every other sense you have? just appearing in it, in a space that has no depth, that has no distance, 